men's underpants must add to our beauty and make us more attractive to our partners. It must also protect the genitalia from harm. Today, I present to you an easy way to draft, cut and sew these classic boxer briefs. You can sew them for sale, do it for your own use, or give them as presents to your loved ones. If this is something you'd love to learn, do stick around and let's do it together. We start by drawing a rectangle made up of 23 and quarter inches length, 14 and half inches height. Then we are going to divide this by seven and three quarters, eight and three quarters, and the remainder will be six and three quarters. From this very side, we move upwards by three inches and we'll move towards the left by one and quarter inch. Then we join using an arc. Then we mark one and quarter. We mark one and quarter, one and quarter, one and quarter and join. From this point, we mark one and three quarters to this side and then three quarters from the top to meet it. Then on this side, we mark one inch from the top downwards and from this very line to the left side. On this side, we are marking one inch from this line inward, one and three quarters downwards. We connect this point to that point in a shallow S-shaped curve. Then we connect this to that point too. We move upwards by three and a half inch, then to the right by a quarter of an inch. Then we connect this. At the middle here, we'll move up this line by five and a half, inward by a quarter. On this side, it's five, then inward by quarter. Then we'll connect just as we did for this side. At this point, we are moving upwards by three and a half. Then we move to this side by three quarters of an inch. We mark half from this point upwards. And connect the three quarters extension to that half mark. We are moving eight and a half from this point upwards along this line.
then we square this line to touch this very extension. We draw a steep S-like shape to touch this and that. We come down from this point by one and quarter, one and quarter. Then we mark five inches. I want to use a red marker for the front bulge so that it doesn't confuse us. We would mark three quarters of an inch from this very intersection upwards and then we'll mark the same thing to the left. Then we'll mark quarter upwards. We draw a line to connect these two points. The distance from here to there was 5 inches. We also marked another 5 inches down here to get a straight line. We're going to curve till it touches this mark. At about 4 inches away, we mark 2 inches. Then we draw another line from the top here, starting from this very point, a little away from this curve. Then it comes to touch the 2 inches all the way to the tip here. We'll go ahead and label this and cut. And so this is for the back, this is the side, and this is the front piece. And so this side will be attaching to the back, and that side will be attaching itself to the front. You see that there is some excess here. It is because we are going to join the two pieces. And so by the time we are done joining, these two should be on the same line. We first would have to trace the bolt onto another paper so that we'll be able to cut the front. This is because the two overlap at this point. These are how we cut the various pieces. With this very one, which is the back one, we will cut it on fold, with this being the center back. And so when we open it, this is what we have. And then we cut two pieces of this. We cut two pieces as well for the front part. When it comes to the front bolt, we cut four pieces, these two and that two. And so we'll start stitching by stitching the center front bolt for each of these. We are stitching them separately. Now we stitch this too.
Next, we're going to put these two wrong sides together. And so this is the wrong side up. We place this right on top. We are going to join this to that. We'll go ahead and knitting the edge, then we top stitch. Next will be to join the side. And you know that the side has one part that is shorter and another part that is longer. We are attaching the shorter part to the front. For each of them that we stitch, we would knit in and then top stitch. And so we are going to join this side as well. Now we join the final part. And so this is it. We're going to stitch this side. And so we've detained it, we are going to top stitch. Now we're going to knit in the hemline, that is for both ties. We're going to knit in this part and we're knitting that part. We would also knit in the inseam. After the knitting, I have folded inward the hem by half of an inch. And so we'll go ahead and stitch that. Then we join the inseam. My waist is 36 inches and so I've cut this into 26 and a half. 
Yes, I'm stitching half, I'm stitching quarter inch off so that I have 26 exactly. We're going to match this to the center front and that to the center back. We'll go and knit in this edge and also we'll top stitch the waistline. 